You must be here about the notice. How do I know? Simple. No one but potential applicants will even speak to me. Must be because I reek of desperation. Of one sending young souls off to certain doom. Well, once you hear the details, I'm sure you will lose interest. Everyone else does. We of the Alpha Merchant Navy wish to hire a representative to track and kill the notorious pirate Dead Kell and his crew of murderous hanged men. They had many names for him during the Middle Kingdom era. Ghost of the Frostbreak, the Blood Red Sail. Every captain and swab on the Frostbreak Sea feared for their lives when Kell raised his flag. Many widows were made in those days, my friend. Of course, that was centuries ago, before he was killed. Oh, yes. The Alpha Navy put an end to Dead Kell generations ago. They tracked him to his island hideaway and turned his ship to tinder. There were no survivors. Now you understand our predicament. Our shipping and transport lanes are a gauntlet. Dead Kell preys on our ships like scabs feast on the dying. We are helpless against him. We're losing one in five vessels departing from Rathir. Good sailors gone. Vital supplies sent to the depths. This must end now. I must admit, I did not anticipate this development. Here is your payment. It is made in good faith. Once you've made your preparations, report to Captain Rast Brattigan in the Keys. She will be your escort. Rast is a good and loyal companion and a competent sailor, despite what they say. May Lyria protect you, and may her breath ever be at your back. Good luck. She perches along the pier like a seabird, never venturing far from her ship, the Calamity. <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> Today, see tomorrow. Yes? <sighs> Don't bother me. I'm waiting for a passenger, some suicidal idiot. Can't be caught chatting. I want to make a good impression. Well, tie me up and drag me under. So you're the one the Navy's hooked into finding Gallows End and killing dead Kel. It's suicide! Really? Ask the others. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can't. But don't worry about them. Like my mother said, don't weep for the fallen. Even if they could hear you, they wouldn't care. You know, the other applicants. Dead. All of them. All of the ones they found, that is. Plenty of others just vanished. One poor fellow was found cut into teeny tiny pieces. They needed a bucket to pull all of him from the surf. But don't you worry, we'll have a fine voyage. Flattery will get you nowhere, unless I've had too much to drink. Then I'm afraid to say it'll get you all sorts of strange places. I shall not elaborate. Tari and I are ready when you are. 
If you're ready to depart, my vessel awaits. You'll find her both swift and seaworthy. Just don't go down into the hold. There's a leak down there. It's big. I'm predicting an uneventful voyage. We might even get bored. Off we go, then! Trust no one. Except me, of course. see such a horrendous disaster too bad are you well everything in its right place most of the others were killed it wasn't quick I heard their cries in the fog but I couldn't do a thing dead cow one moment there was nothing but open sea before us and the next there he was it didn't take much to sink the calamity that poor ship was asking for mercy and Dead Cow granted her wish. <sighs> no one is sorrier than I am. Those men and women were my family. Traveling as I do, there aren't many opportunities for closeness. I found that on the Calamity. Found it and lost it. Good thing Tari is still with me. Well, mostly. And a more capable team I can't imagine. It appears our best path to the mainland is through a nearby cavern, but it seems to be flooded and blocked by debris. I do carry some old cobalt explosives in my pack, but I've never used one before. Well, not successfully. Let's go!
Jellyfish, I'm out of explosives, and we're so close. I can hear the waves on the sand. One of us is going to need to find some way to get us through this wall, and by someone, I mean you. You see, I don't swim, or did I fail to mention that? No time to jaw. Amazing! <laughs> we survived! I didn't want to say anything in the cavern, but I was betting against us. In the words of my dear departed mother, always prepare for the worst, for it'll probably happen. There looks to be a settlement on the beach. Come, let's see who's at home. Ready when you are?
Kara blesses us with another lost soul. Welcome, stranger. I am Alder Malloy, and you've arrived at Cape Solace just in time. Tell me, how have you come to find yourself upon our shore? It is a village established by those of us whose fates have brought us to Gallows End. Sailors and settlers, foreigners and families, but castaways all. We have made a life here on these beaches and in this village. Ah, so you're here for the oppressor, he who was cast down. You're not the first to arrive on these shores in search of him. You will not be the last. But Akara's magic protects us here in Cape Solace. We are safe from Dead Kel's deathless touch. The same cannot be said for those who venture past the boundaries of the village, near the keep and the surrounding forest. Dead Kel was the favorite son of Akara. He was given great gifts from our protector, only to squander them in the pursuit of power. We are blessed not to fear him. So many others live at his mercy, but not those of us here on the safety of the beaches. Akara protects the faithful. Then you will fit in well, for keeping the village strong is truly a group undertaking. We get by with Akara's blessing and providence, of course. You may stay with us for as long as you wish, but might I suggest that you find a way to make yourself useful? We all must do our part. Well, what do you think? I don't know about you, but all of this talk about a car is unsettling. I'm going to ask around about ways to get off the island, since I'm almost certain we're not going to want to stay. We'll have to secure another vessel, but from the looks of the village, they don't often venture past the reef. In the meantime, I'll ask you to scour the beaches for survivors of our wreck. I fear that we may be all that's left of the calamity. Such a possibility has left me agitated. I try not to worry. Anxiety doesn't agree with me. I throw up. I did not see my bosun Thora among the dead, or his wife Asa. There's a chance they have evaded death's grip and still count among the living. Mark my words, if even one of them survives, I will fight to the earth's edge to find them. Mr. Spirit, I knew taking you on board was the right idea. That fortune teller didn't know what she was talking about. I will stay here and speak to Alder about a boat, and I'll have them send men to fetch Tari from the sandbar. I'll have dead Kel's head if it's the last thing I do. Let your guard down. Oh, my God. 
So, I'm not the only one who walked out of that mess. I figured you for a sturdy one, but surviving that wreck, that's fate. We shouldn't waste a moment. My wife, my Acer, she still lives, but they took her. I've never seen anything like it. Scavengers. They look like fair Gorta, but not like any I've ever seen. No, it was just us. Asmir, Kelly, Free, Edric, Yudin. They're all gone. All dead. They were good people. Proud. Not the bedraggled bunch many mistook them for. It's a shame. Thank you. I won't forget this, truly. I will make way inland. If there are others on this island, I will find them and I will send them. My heart goes with you. There's not much time. Sailor, are you? Sailors pitch when they walk dry ground, list like drunkards at a wake. No, you're not one of them. So who are you? My name is Nina Malloy. You met my father Alder back in the village. He wouldn't be pleased to find me here. Of course, very little pleases my father. I've walked this island since I was no bigger than a boggart, but I'm still prohibited from venturing past the village on my own. I can take care of myself. Ha! What did you know? I killed my first scab in this very fasting. I don't need protection. Not yours. Not my father's. Not Akara's. I keep telling our people that the offering only makes us slaves. Makes us weak. But do they listen? No. We're being trained not to. We sacrifice one of our own people to Akara, a being none of us have ever seen, and one that's desires are not known to us. Is the offering bad? Yes. Yes, so I gathered. The scabs aren't partial to intruders, especially ones they can eat. I'll join you if you don't mind. I'll know these tunnels better than anyone. Lead on. I'll watch your back. It's tough to tell in these old tunnels, but if your friend was dragged in here by scabs, then she'll be at the very bottom. Right. Carry on.
Cycle the First, the Arathi. Greetings, dear Netta. If I view this record as a personal correspondence, it makes the distance bearable, keeps the fear at bay. You know how expeditionary travel vexes me. Eh, I shall begin. I was not certain what to expect following my disembarkation upon this grim isle. After initial investigation, there appears to be a significant Erathi presence, one that predates any other signs of organized life on the island. It is a curious thing. Why would such beings descend to this wounded realm? Whatever beckoned to them, its call must have been incredibly powerful. More research is needed. You've come. They came as soon as the hull went under. The cargo, the survivors, the sails. Everything stripped like flesh from a bone. I didn't think I'd live to see the morning. Not with dead Kel here. I'm going to see if there's anyone else on this island. There are too many structures for it to be deserted. Don't be foolish. What is this? Tell me, stranger, what brings you down these dank passages? Salvage? Riches? The allure of a most magnificent death? Hmm? If you must die, it should be at the hands of a monster like me. My victims are almost as infamous as I am. the hand of death and been chosen. So it is with all great men. We transcend mortality. But you wouldn't know of such things, would you? Death will not have me. Not until I am satisfied. And I am not satisfied. Oh no, I still hunger. Thinking your ship was only the start. Now it must be stripped to its bones, picked apart piece by glorious piece. Everyone scavengers. It is how we survive. Killing the crew, well, that was for pleasure. Forgive me if I like to treat myself every once in a while. The Alfar Navy tried to stop me once. They sought to stretch my neck. Yet who do you think ended up dangling from the gallows? Don't make the same mistake they did. Don't come to my home and call for my head. It's foolish, and worse, disrespectful. I will forgive you this once, but that is all. Now leave Gallows End. Dead Kel, stranger. Find a ship, find a captain, then sail far, far away from Gallows End. 
I'll see that your friend gets to the village. After that, I'm going to do some exploring. There was another crash not soon after yours. A ship that ran aground up north. I was planning to follow the survivors inland, but there also might be something of value in their wreckage. I wouldn't call him a close relation, but I've seen him from time to time. He doesn't show his ghastly face around Cape Solace that often. I guess even he's got an interest in good salvage. I can't be sure of what happened until I see for myself. But it was a large ship, a merchant galley, or perhaps even an old naval vessel. It was big, though, and it rode low in the water. Loaded down with cargo, or with men, or with both. idea. You never can tell if these castaways are going to be friendly or just plain mad. Look at you. Perhaps I'll see you back at Cape Solace. Till then, try to stay out of trouble. We'll meet again. Look at you! I could just gobble you up. But it's in my contract with the Navy that I do no such thing. You found the Ardings alive and well, if not a bit soggy. Well done. I had a feeling you'd be full of surprises. I've been here searching for a means of escape, but everyone is so preoccupied with their precious Scion that they hardly give me a glance. No, they didn't. Older believed he passed not long after we left him, and that he was swept out to sea. He was a good first mate, Tari. I'll miss the silent little scallywag. We did try to save him, but the winds of fortune don't always blow in our favor. You met him, did you? Tell me. What did the villain have to say for himself? Did he have the hangmen with him? Bloodgrin, the Whispering Witch, the Baronet? 
She wields a powerful staff, and she likes to whisper into the ears of her victims before they die. No one knows what she says. She's also said to be Dead Cow's lover. Gross. True. And I think I know how. Alda spoke of an old castaway, a man named Key, who has been on this island longer than anyone. Perhaps he's lived long enough to know our pirate friend. If nothing else, it's a good place to start. Alda will know where to find this key fellow. If we're lucky, he'll be normal, not like the rest of these twisted eels. I'm not counting on it. I'll be right here. Nice to see you. I'm sorry about your friend, Tari. His loss was unfortunate. But in my time, I've learned that everything occurs according to Akara's plan. We in the village are preparing for the offering ceremony to receive our new scion. Only then will you truly understand. Captain Brattigan explained that you plan to bring dead Kel to justice. I understand your reasons, but the quest is folly. Still, I wish you success. So I will point you in the direction of a man named Key. He is the oldest castaway on Gallows End. He will have answers. Before you speak with him, I must ask you a favor. Your journey will take you past Soul Deep Fasting, where my wife Bridget prepares for the offering. Take her this amulet. She will want it. All scions wear it during the ceremony. It is just down the beach to the west. You will know it by the watchers standing guard out front. Do not provoke them. It wasn't easy, but I followed that landing party inland. Nobody carrying that much cargo is here by accident. There's a storm brewing. I'll be happy to know that I took a prisoner. That dainty fellow over there. He says he's harmless, but I'm not so sure. I had a chance to scout a bit closer and caught sight of another ship. One that's still intact, just offshore. If I were crazier, I'd steal it and make for open sea. But mostly, I just want to go after their leader. His people are here for blood. We'll know soon enough. I must say, they resemble the war party more than a ship's crew. I counted warriors, and even a few scholars among them. It's not uncommon for outsiders to come to Gallows End, seeking Akara's power and the island's magic. I just haven't witnessed it in many years. I was hoping you'd see things my way. The people in Cape Solace always lay their fates down at the feet of others. Whether it's Akara, Dead Kel, or even my father. I will no longer stand by and do nothing. 
I will go and I will find the one behind this invasion. He will answer to me. Goodbye. What is it you seek? The new scion must not be disturbed. Her meditations are of great importance to the offering ceremony. Without the proper preparation, she won't withstand the power that comes with Akara's blessing. It will destroy her. Soon, that name will mean nothing. She will be the Scion, Akara's chosen one, and the vessel for his power. I will give her the amulet once she breaks from her meditation. You must leave now. That is not a suggestion. Farewell.
another one, eh? Well, the counter just keeps drawing them in. Fish trapped in his widening nets. What is it you want, Castaway? The simplest answer to your problems lies beyond those cliffs there. One swift drop, and then peace. Oh, the priest, eh? How is it that most pawns aren't even aware of the game? Every few years, Alder sends me a hopeless spirit, praying I can provide a fate weaver's wisdom. But I have no hope to give. I have nothing. Dead Kell has seen to that. Look around you. We are damned. Where is he? Everywhere, you fool. Everywhere. Try to leave this island. Dead Kell is there. Try to hide in the fastings. Dead Kell is there. You're better off hiding from your own shadow. I was. You know of fate weavers then? Know that we are a tragic brood destined for a life of isolation and disappointment. <laughs> Why read the cards when you already know what they say? I will die on this island, as will you. Ha! Spoken like one who just crawled from the wreckage. You have no idea of the forces that conspire against us. Dead Kell is no mere man, no, no, no. He is touched by Akara. As long as his ship, Requiem, remains harbored here on Gallows End, none of us are free. Get me that ship, and perhaps I will tell you what you wish to know. Perhaps. It is said that Dead Kell is the only mortal to have ever laid eyes upon Akara, to have spoken with him as an equal. Not even the Scion has been so close, and she is linked to Akara through magic. Now you know why Dead Kell remains a threat long after he was supposedly killed by the Alpha. It is not a natural thing. His life is both blessing and curse. Then you will succeed where all others have failed. You will not secure the Requiem, because you will die long before you even lay eyes upon it. Fate cannot be changed. It's a tragedy. Because I would have told you everything. <laughs> Dead Kell and his hanged men keep the ship in the dark harbor. Their private port, northwest of here. Your destiny is yours.
So, you escaped the cove, did you? I assume that Rast survived too. She's luckier than most, even if she's too daft to realize it. You're strong. Perhaps even tough enough to help me steal the Requiem. I need someone with muscle to help me smash those gears. My injuries were not as serious as I made them appear. I followed you and Rast through the flooded cavern to the beach, and then made for the forest. It was the only way to avoid Cape Solace. I couldn't let them see me. Not after what they did. Why do you think everyone in Rathia considers Rast Brattigan a travesty? She's far too trusting to be a sailor. However, she did get me back to Gallows End, and for that I am thankful. And she was kind. Far too kind. Now that I'm home again, I will have my revenge. I will kill the scion as she meant to kill me. that for me? But why? Before she died, my mother made me promise not to go after Pima. Perhaps you are here to make sure I stay true to my word. Fine. I will not kill the Scion, but justice must still be done. She resides in the north, where she prepares her final departure. But beware her honor guard, the Watchers. They are powerful. The Scion will be preparing to depart the island, to make way for her replacement. She will leave from the beach on the north of the island. See justice done. Thank <laughs> you. 
My suggestion to steal the ship was made in jest. I never expected this. My own fate has always kept me trapped on Gallo's end. I, I never dared to dream of escape. But you possess a quality, something I have never seen before. You did as you promised. Now I must do in kind. W what do you wish to know? Ask me such a question, not but one day ago I would have said yes, without a shadow of a doubt. But things have changed. Call it fate, call it destiny, call it the will of Blaster the Cara. An event is coming, and I wish to be a witness. I will stay for now. He wanted to embrace death, he was ready. His peace was made. But Carl, in his incredible ignorance, saved Denkel from the Eternal Black. I don't know what the pirate wants, but I understand his rage. Fallen One is not a surface dweller. He died once, and ever since he's preferred to stay beneath the ground. Akara Tor is his lair. Despite their history, Dead Kel and the great Akara are still connected. Where you find one, you will find the other. Yes, which is rare on this island of scavengers and fanatics. I trust you. Even though many years of hardship has taught me to do otherwise. I will confide in you. Because despite my wish to leave this place, I have no desire to hurt the stranded souls that wish to stay. There is a spy in Cape Solace. One who is not as they appear. One who plans to disrupt the offering. If I could reveal their identity, I would. My sight only tells me how the threads travel, not where or to whom. Uh, this figure is powerful, magical, and wields a strong grip over fate. Same as you. Use your gift. Open your eyes to the signs. If you are willing to see in a new way, you will find the one you are looking for. not seen it in the cards, but you are beginning to give me faith in the impossible. Go to the new sire, Alder's wife, Bridget, and protect her from this threat. Take these potions. They will help you track the spy. Be careful. Not everyone is dead, Kel. Not everyone can defeat death. The Requiem is ours. Now we must sail it to Cape Solace and give others the opportunity to join us. Hurry to Cape Solace.
Marvellous! You stole the Requiem! What's the dreaded pirate to do now without his ship? Our passage from the island is secure. That is, if you're interested in leaving. And if you stay, I stay. You know how I feel, but to remind you, I hate this place. I wish it would sink into the sea forever. Needless to say, I'm eager to leave, but I won't abandon you. Any time you wish to return to Rathir, I'll take you. But until then, I'm staying right here. Do not thank me. We stand together, you and I. We started this journey as companions, but the fires of adversity have made us something more. Friends. And I don't let my friends down. Well, not counting that time with Garant. He died. Now go. Find the turncoat. If Dead Cal means to disrupt the village's ceremony, he will do so soon. That I can do. Really? Here? Ugh, nutter. <laughs> 